Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to talk about a DAX function called cross filter, how to use it and change the direction of a relationship and make your measures working in the direction of the relationship that you want. Let's see how it works. I strongly recommend you to check out the link down in the description below because first you can download this file and practice with it. The second is that there are links that uh, are related to uh, what are the relationships in Power BI, what is the meaning of direction of relationship, what is the meaning of like one to many, many to one, many to many or one to one relationship, uh, explanation about all of these are available down in that description. It is not enough in one video to go through what is the relationship and also talk about the cross filter. So I assume that you already know that the relationship from one table to another table with that direction means that this table filters that table. And I continue on that. Uh, let's say I have this Power BI model. Uh, I have three fact tables. The reason I created it this way is that I want to show you how a situation uh, which needs a both directional relationship might happen and what to do when it happens. Uh, let's say I have a visualization, very simple visualization like this. This has full name and internet sales. The full name comes from customer table. The internet sales comes from uh, the fact internet sales table. And here you can see that the direction of relationship means that this table gets filtered by that table. This is absolutely fine. And this is a correct way of slicing and dicing in Power BI, which means that our visualization works perfectly fine. Here, internet sales gets filtered, sliced and diced by full name. Now, let's say I have a different requirement. Uh, and my requirement is to add reseller sales. Now, reseller sales doesn't really make sense for customer because there is no relationship between customer and reseller sales. But let's assume that this is my requirement. Let's say I want to get the total reseller sales for all the products that this customer has purchased. Um, that means the reseller sales might be for like um, any types of sales transaction, but as long as that is related to a product that this customer has purchased, then it is fine. If I try to uh, do the visualization in the way that I did for the first one, which means I bring just reseller sales here, you can see that it is not working. It is not a slicing and dicing. I see $80 million for every single one of these transactions. So this means that this cannot really filter that. Uh, I have explained in another video um, that in situations like this, you need to change the direction of relationship. In this case, uh, if I bring these more into focus, this field is filtering this field. Uh, based on the relationships that we already have, this is filtering that, which is absolutely fine. And this is also getting filtered by this. So the direction can go this way. However, this relationship is not uh, in the right way that it should be. This actually filters this table instead of uh, the other way around. We need it to be the other way around. So this relationship is the relationship that we need to work on and make it both directional. So one way, one method to fix it is to make it both directional, which I explained it in another video. Uh, what I'm going to explain right now is to how to use a DAX function called cross filter to do that. Cross filter is a simple function to use the way that it works. I'm not going to create a measure for that, but I'm just showing uh, the, uh, the way that this function works. The way that it works is that cross filter gets three parameter. The first parameter is the column on the left, the column on the right. These are columns that have been part of that relationship. And then the third parameter is actually what is the type of uh, relationship direction you want. Both means both directional, none, no filtering one table, the other, another table one way from one side to many side and one way left filters right or right filters left. These two are only useful for one to one relationship, which I'm not going to discuss in this. So let's see how a calculation like that can be written uh, in 
here. So uh, what I have here, you can see that I have a measure that returns values correctly, a slice and dice correctly. Uh, now I want to see what is the uh, calculation of this measure. Here you can see that I have used the calculate expression. Cross filter cannot be just used by itself. It is not a tabular function. It is not also a scalar function. It's a specific type of function. It's a function that changes the behavior of a relationship. Uh, you can usually use it in some of the functions that accept filter criteria. For example, calculate is one of those. Uh, you can use that. I, you can see that I have used cross filter function here. And uh, what I've done is that I said for this cross filter function, I need these two columns. And these are the two columns the, uh, that are the two sides of that relationship. I need the right direction to be both directional. Every other relationship was fine. That is why I just changed it, the direction of relationship of this. So in fact, when I have something like this, it looks like that I changed the relationship here to be uh, both directional. It works this way and it works that way. That is the meaning of that cross filter I've written in that expression, which will then support this type of analysis. As a result, my uh, calculation works fine. Now, what about scenarios that you have to have multiple relationships um, change direction? Uh, let's have a look at another example. Let's say I want to add one more field here, and that is sales amount quota coming from fact sales quota table. Uh, let's look at the relationship again. Uh, here you can see that fact sales quota is here, sales amount quota is also here. And uh, of course this doesn't have any meaning of the customer again because there is no direct relationship from the customer. But I can define my requirement in this way. Let's assume that I want to see the sum of sales amount quota for all employees so that brings the employee into the play, uh, who have sold all the products that this customer purchased. You see, I'm getting all of these tables involved in this uh, requirement. Some of the sales amount quota for all employees who have sold the products that this customer has purchased. So I'm actually needing all of these tables to be working in uh, to get that calculation. Now, some of these relationships are fine. For example, this is fine, this is fine, and this is fine. These are relationships that are towards the direction that I want. The direction of relationship that I want is something like this from here all the way to here. I want to filter uh, data this way. Now, this type of situation might not happen really often, but I'm showing to you that so that you see uh, what might happen. So I have two relationships that need to be working on. One is this one, which is not in the direction that I want. Another is this one. Now, when I have two relationships that needs to be changed direction, it's very similar to the first example. The only difference is that I would use two cross filters. Uh, when I go to my calculation, for this last one, this is the calculation for this last one, and you can see it is working perfectly fine. Uh, and uh, you can see that I have two cross filter in this calculation. The first one is for the relationship between DIM product and fact internet sales based on their product key. The second one is between DIM employee and fact reseller sales based on the employee key, both directional for each of these. Uh, those were the two relationships that didn't work. So you can actually use multiple cross filter functions like this. Now before you um, close this and go and uh, do this in all of your models, I need to explain a few things. First, uh, always remember that design your model in a best way possible so that it uh, answers your requirement without needing both directional relationship because both directional relationship comes at a cost, a performance cost and ambiguity of the model. So always consider best practices of modeling. I have a lot of articles about that. Second, if you need to make a both directional relationship, I would suggest to do it this way rather than keeping the uh, relationship, changing that actual relationship to be both directional in most of the cases. Why? Because if you make that relationship both directional, any field that you use from that table 
would impact the performance of your report versus if you just create a measure with both directional relationship using cross filter only if you use that measure that report might get slow so try to do that and one other thing is that this method only works if you actually have a valid relationship it doesn't work if there is no relationship between those two tables you need to have that relationship i hope you enjoyed this video as i said you can download the file from the description below if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our youtube channel we have weekly videos on power bi thank you